Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you all? Hope you're doing fine. So, this is a series of the translation. We are doing the translation of Suratul Furqan. We done the ayat number 42 in the last video, so we are going to do the ayat number 43. So the way of translation is very simple, just for first word by word translation, then as a whole, then any reference to the context regarding the, then the explanation regarding to the Hadith Mubarakah, regarding to the Hadith, so the com commentary, this is the Marifal Quran. So this is the very simplest way of uh, translating, uh, translation and simplest way to understand. Reading Quran is definitely it's very important, right? Because this is the month of Ramadan, and you know, uh, every um, sawab is greater than uh, is up to the 70 times greater. So, reading Quran is very important in the Ramadan as well. And also, in this month, the Holy Quran Allah Rabbi revealed the Holy Quran in this month, and just 27th of uh, the Ramadan, the uh, Holy Quran finished completed in this uh, month as well. So Reading Quran is very important, but understanding the Quran is the most important. So read the message of Allah, but what's Allah Rabbul Izzat wanted, what he wants from us. So that's the most important thing. So this is the Ramadan Mubarak, you do try to read, try to read with the translation in the 30 days and maximum learn about the translation as well. So this is a uh, way of the translating. I'm just uh, I'm just conveying my message, Allah's message, and translating it for the sake of Allah. May Allah accept all our good deeds. Amin. Amin. So let's start. Have you seen one who takes? Ilahahu Hawa as his God his own desire. Afa antakunu alayhi wakila. Then would you be over him guardian? Tell me about the one who has taken his desire as his good. Would you then become a guardian for him? So following about, uh, following forbidden things, a type of the idolatry. Tell me about the one who has taken his desire to his God, the one who practices the forbidden things which are against the tenets of Islam to satisfy his personal desire is described in his words as a worshipper of his own said the Rasulullah. Ta'ala Sayyidah ibn Abbas said, the selfish desires are like an idol which is worshipped by the... An, Fighters, and then he decided this word to provide his point. So, as I already told her that this is the universal book, and Islam is a universal religion, and the Holy Quran is a universal book. So, in this, in the Quran, in the Holy Quran, Allah told us each and everything with respect to our lives which kind of the problems can be we face in the life which kind of the thinking can we uh, we think in the life so there is a questioning and answering of the every 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 situation of the life so in this in this allah said the selfish desires these are also like the idol and the usually the people worship by their selfish desires so try to avoid these kind of desires let's see the next ayah am who or tahsabu do you think anna that aktharahum most of them yasma'una here aw or ya'kiluna understand in not hum illa they are except ka al an ami like cattle bal ne hum they azallu are more astray, sabila, from the way. Or do you think that the most of them listen and understand? They are nothing but like the cattle, rather they are they are even even farther astray in their way. Alam, do you not? Tawa, see, ila, to, wabbiga, your lord, 
كَيْفَ هَوْ مَدَّ الظِّلَّ He extends the shadow وَلَوْ and if شَاءَ He will لَجَأَ لَهُ Surely he could have made it سَاكِنًا Stationary سُمَّا Then جَعَلْنَا We made الشَّمْسَ The sun عَلَيْهِ For it دَلِيلَ An indication Have you not turned your, your vision to your Lord? How he prolonged the shadow, and if he so willed, he would have made it stand still. Then we made the sun an indicator for it. Commentary. The explanation. Relationship between the causes and the effects and their being subject to our laws will the above verses describe the complete and total omnipotence of Allah Ta'ala and his bounties of favor showered on the humankind. This also proves the oneness of Allah and that no one can share his rights of worship. Have you not turned your vision to your Lord how his sunlight prolonged the shadow and shared out the blessings, such blessings of God that without them it would not have been possible for mankind to survive and to carry on these day-to-day functions? If there is sunlight all the time, it will create the problems not only for human beings but, but also for all the living things. On the other hand, if there is a shade all the time, then the neither man or nor the living creatures can survive. Allah Ta'ala has created these two blessings by His limitless, limitless power and made them beneficial for the mankind. At the same time, Allah Ta'ala, through His infinite wisdom, has tied up all the created things with the specific causes in the sense and these things come into existence only when such causes are available. And if they are absent, these things do not exist. Similarly, the, if if the cause is strong, this is very important thing. Similarly, if the cause uh, if the causes are strong and available in the ab- abdon- abundance, the existence of their effect is also strong and abundant, and vice versa. Creation of crops and grass is independent of all the availability of the land, water, and air. Similarly, the light. Light is dependent on availability of the sun of the moon. Similarly, light is dependent on the availability of the sun and the moon. Rain is dependent on the clouds and air. Then there is such a strong bond between these causes and effects that is binds them together in such a way that there is, has not be the slightest deviation in the working of things even after the passage of centuries. For instance, look at the solar system. The system has been working for centuries, yet there has no been the minutest change of deviation in its working, nor has there been a split of seconds difference in the movement of the entire system. Neither there is any change in the movements of the sun and the moon, nor do they require any overhauling or repair work. They are moving along their orbits since the origin of the universe at a defined speed. One can calculate their movements with the precessions and predict their positions in the advance for centuries. This marvelous system of causes and effects was in fact a masterpiece of Allah's creation and a solid proof of his boundless power and infinite wisdom. But it was this firmness of the system which ultimately made the people neglectful of Allah's power. When they perceived that all the effects in the universe are linked with some visible causes, they confined they confine their eyes to these visible causes only and started start believing them to be original creator of these events. The real power of the creator, which was the original cause of all, all causes, remained hidden behind the cover of the visible causes only. The prophet are sense. The prophets are sins and the divine books are revealed to remind the human beings that they must rise above their, above their sh- short-sightedness and see behind the cover of these apparent causes and the omnipotence of their creator who is in fact running and controlling the whole system. This is the only way to discover the real truth about the universe. The verses under consideration are made to point out the reality. In this verse, 
have you not turned your vision to your lord how pronounced the shadow the people are reminded of the perfect solar system and benefits the people draw from it it is a common experience to see that the sun rising from the east when the shades are long then with the passage of time they are shortened and the noon becomes a shortened then again as the sun moves towards the west shades sh- shades start lightening and before the sunset becomes the longest in this whole process the entire humanity draw the unlimited benefits from the sunlight and its shades and clearly realize, realizes that they are the effects of the moments of the sun between east and west but little attention is paid to the question as to who has created this sun and who has bound it to a, to a well planned system answer to this question cannot be found by one's eyes but it can be perceived by the insight of the heart and the mind if he so will allah would have made the sunlight and shade stationary so that there where there was sunlight it would have stayed uh, as such and there and where there there was a shade it would have remained such forever just think of the problem it would have brought about but in his wisdom he has no done so and instead created things which are beneficial and are useful for the humanity the words walau sha la ja'alahu sakinan and if he so will he would have made it stand still means exactly that in order to explain the phenomena of the lightning and the shortening of the shade it is stated in the words qabaznahu ilaina qabzan basira that is we pull it towards us in a gradual manner it is well known that allah taala is beyond the purview of the body or the actions and the hence there is no question of the shade being pulled towards him what it means is that the shortening of the shades take place by his supreme power so everything happens in this world and happening in this world by the supreme power of allah rabbul izzat ثم then قبضناه we withdraw it إلينا to us قبضا and withdrawal يسيرا gradual then we pull it towards us in a gradual manner وهو الذي جعل لكم وهو and he الذي is the one who جعل made لكم for you a layla the night libasa the covering one nauma and the sleep subat and rest waj'ala and made an nahara the day nushura a resurrection and he is the one who has made the night as a peril for you and the sleep a means of rest and how he has made the day means of the revival so to work during during the day time and the rest at the night time is based on the great wisdom and he is the one who has made the night an apparel for you and sleep means of rest and has made the day means of revival the night is referred as a peril in the in this world described that it covers up everything like a natural sheet and does the sheet the, the dust to the human body the word subatan is to derive from the sabat which means to cut out subat so, is that thing which cut out some other things allah taala has made the sleep to shed away the exhaustion and the fatigue on develops one develops after the day long work in sleep one is cut off with stress and the strain of the mind and the body while they are rested his the word subat is generally translated as a rest relaxation tranquility so the sense of the words is is that allah taala has created the night as covering to everything then imposed sleep on the man and all living things so that they rest and relax here one needs to ponder over um over a few things everyone knows that sleep is a blessings and a source of relaxation but it is the human nature to sleep in the darkness it is very difficult to sleep in the daylight and even if one goes off to sleep one is awakened quickly confirming to the human needs and the nature allah taala has made nights dark and cool so that the people can sleep and relax has night by itself is a blessing and sleep is another blessing
so we have the two, uh, two blessings the third blessing is that the entire humanity and the animals sleep at night instinctively if the sleeping time of the different of the different people were different from one another it would have created a number of problems in such a situation some would have sleep at one time and the other other at the some other creating the problems for one another because when the people are awake they move about to for the various works and this environment and this movement would have created noise and annoyance annoyance and a disturbance for those who are who were sleeping apart from this the people are dependent on each other in many ways and at different times of their their sleeping would have deprived them of the helping each other in their in their works because working timing of the one would have been the time of the rest for the others if the human beings would have restarted uh, to the social contact of the uniting the times of rest and the work for the whole world it was not at the first place and is it us to make the billions of the people like on a single resolution then the implementation of such a contract would have required a lot of the formal departments and still there would have been the room for the violation for the such contract through the cup means as it is observed in the con contemporary forms all the such such problems have been overcome by the creation of the night and sleep by allah uh, Allah Ta'ala which, which, which are greatly beneficial and necessary for the human being, human and other living beings. Allah Ta'ala has instilled in the human, human such as the urge to sleep at night that one can keep awake only with a great difficulty and effort. Fatabarakallahu ahsan al khaliki. Similarly, in the Wajal and Nahara Nushura, and he has made a day of the means of the revival, and the day is described as a revival because it's a hope has it that sleep is like a death when one loses it. all his senses here again to keep awake and attend to one's needs during the daytime is made made but entry to the human beings if this was not so the human some the people would have attended to their work while the others slept and this would have caused a sort of the problem as in the case of the sleep Allah Ta'ala has bestowed a great blessing of the human beings by creating it need at night he has also made it part of the human being nature to keep awake and attend to work during the day time so that the people should look after each other's need he has also fixed a certain timing for the certain desires and needs common in all human beings for instance all the people feel hungry in the morning and the evening they want to eat so the eating times of the heart all human beings are common which is again is a great blessing from the allah ta'ala alhamdulillah rabbil alameen for everything allah rabbul izzat made for us the day and night the sleep the rest the food the everything so you know the thanking of allah thanking the allah is also the you know the very beautiful thing when you thank someone you know if you thank someone that, that who does a favor so you this, who helped you so that he or she feel comfort so you should thankful to allah we should thankful to allah as well for all the blessings all his countless blessings because we can't count the blessings that allah allah bless us with let's see the next ayah Wahua and he, Allah, the one who is the one who Arsala sends a riyah, the wind, the winds, Bushram, as glad tidings, Baina, before Baina Yadai, before, before, Rahmatihi, his mercy, Wa'anzalna, and we send down, Mina Samai, from the sky, Ma'an Tahura, water pure. And he is the one who has sent the winds conveying the good news before his mercy. And we have sent down the purifying water from the heaven. And we have sent the pure down the purifying water from the heavens means tahur. Something which is pure by itself and which also purifies the other things. Allah Ta'ala has given this quality to the water. That it is clean by itself and possesses the property of cleans other things also the water we use comes down from the clouds in the form of the rain hail or the snow then some of its flow on the surface of the earth and the rest seeps down into the ground under the ground is a natural drainage system which takes the underground water to every nook of the earth and then it reappears on the surface 
in the form of springs, fountains, etc. Sometimes the underground water is drawn out by the digging wells to reach it. All these waters that which fall in the form of the rain or, or that which flows on the surface of the earth in the form of the rivers, streams or the canals or that which is preserved underground are pure in, in Sharia and have inherent property of cleaning. Other things, there is a, consens uh, there is a consensus of opinion in the Ummah on this matter and, uh, and it is the express, express pur purport of the Holy Quran and the Sunnah. When the water is in the large quantity as in the case of the pond, pool and the canal, it remains a pure even, it's even if the something, something filled the has fallen in it. On this point also there is a general consensus. Unless the effect of the filth and the perceptible and the color, taste, smell of the water changes. However, if the quantity of the water is small and some, some filth drops in it, the, then there is a difference of opinion among the judges. On the nature and the quantity of the filth as, uh, as well as the quantity of the water which is a filth falls. Next ayah, li li this we may give life be he thereby baldatan to a land maitan dad manusiyah wanusiyahu and we give drink mimma thereof khalaquna to those who created an aman cattle wa anasiya and man kathira many so that we revive a dead land therewith and give the drink to many cattle and the human we have created and give drink to the many cattle and the human we, we and the humans we is the have created the word and some Linguistics have in C plural of the both words in sana. Taking it as a plural of the this words I described means a human that the rain is a source of irrigation for land while it serves as drink for many cattle and humans. The point for consideration is that here is why the word many is used, which indicates that some human beings do not benefit from it. This question may be answered by saying that the reference here is to cattle and a human being living in the jungles and the deserts who directly use the water. Of the rain as for the urban people they normally use the water of wells and the canals etc alhamdulillah Allah give the water especially for the we are you know this is the very basic necessity of life the air the water and the food and we are we have distributed it by among them that they may remember Faaba but refuse Akhtaru most Akhtarun most of the people Illa Kufuwa except disbelief. And we have dis distributed it the water among them so that they may make take lesson then most of the most of the people opted for nothing but ungratefulness and we have distributed uh, the water among them the the verse says that we keep rotating the rainfall they just if sometimes they wow. they're It sometimes fall in the one locality and sometimes in any another day. Then the sometimes a locality receives in the one year more than more rain in the subsequent years less. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas said uh, says that the presumption of the some people that quantity of the rain varies from the year to year is not really correct. In fact, in fact, the aggregate amount of the water sent down to the world at the macro level is equal every year. However, according to Allah's will, its allocation for the different territories are may change from the year to year. Sometimes the quantity of the water is curtailed for a specific habitation and as a punishment and a warning for it. And sometimes the quantity of the rain is increased for a for a particular population again as a punishment for their misdeeds. Thus the water that was blessing in its origin turns into a torment for the people who are ungrateful and disobedient. So as there is, a, there is a circle of water and every science students know that there is a how the water 
uh, waterfalls and how it's again evaporate uh, through the sunlight. So this is the uh, this is the way of uh, water. A lot of bullies that created distributed the water into such parts. But when uh, you know when um, so as a what is the blessing? So it's it's sometimes a punishment for the people who are ungrateful or the unobedient. May Allah save us from the punishment. Amen. وَلَوْ شِئْنَا and if he will لَبَأَثْنَا surely we, could, we would have raised فِي كُلِّ in every كَرْوِيَةٍ نَذِيرَ town a warner and if we so will we would have sent a warner to every town فَلَا تُصِعِ so don't obey الْكَافِ الْكَافِرِينَ that is believers وَجَاهِدُهُمْ and strive against them be he with it, jihad and jihad and a striving kabir or great. So don't obey the infidels and strive against them within the Quran. A great striving. and he is the one who Maraja has released al Bahraini, the two seas. Hada this one azbun palatable. Puratun and sweet, wahada and this one, milhun salty, ujajun and bitter, wajala and he has made, bainahuma between them, barzakhan a barrier, wahijran and a, and a partitions, mahjura forbidden. And he is the one who has joined the two seas. This is a sweet, very sweet, and this is a bitter, very bitter, and made between them a, a buffer and a barrier prohibited to cross. And he is a one who has joined, who has joined the two seas in this, in, uh, this is a sweet, this is a sweet, and this is a bitter, very bitter, and made between them a buffer and a, and a, and a barrier prohibited to cross. The word maraja means to left off or allowed allow to roam freely to uh, uh, hence pasture is called maraj. This is where the animals can graze and roam with uh, azab is a sweet water, while means a delicious and a pleasant, and a milk means the salty and a means bitter. Allah Ta'ala is his own wisdom has created two types of water. One is an immurious in the size called oceans and cover up all about the two third of the global space while the rest of the one one, one third space is made of the land mass mass um, uh, mass on which the people live the water of the oceans and the seas is extremely bl uh, brackish bitter and and of a bad taste on the other hand the water found on the land in the different different form is form is uh, portable pleasant and tasty this water is just right of the needs of the of the mankind and animals alike who drinks it and use it for cleansing if the water of the seas and oceans were not brackish it would have decayed very quickly leaving behind behind a pun, pungent and a foul Order making of the life unbearable of the humans and the animals on land. Moreover, the creatures living in the ocean and the sea water and the, and the number many fold than those living on the land could not have survived because they, when they die, they perish in the brackish water. If they were die in the sweet water, their decomposition would have contaminated the water, making the survival for of the marine life impossible and it its stick would have been unbearable for the life on the land then the garbage of this land is generally dumped in the sea when this is decomposed decomposed except for the few modern ages age the items which need special treatment therefore the back brackish water of the um, brackish water of the ocean and the sea is a great blessing of allah ta'ala for all creatures whether living in the sea or on the land without the presence of the brackish water mass, there would have been no marine or land life. In this words, it is, it is 
elucidated that it is it is a great blessing and a grace of Allah Ta'ala to have provided two types of water in accordance which need with the needs of the mankind then it is a perfect demonstration of his complete power that when a river of the sweet water falls into the sea the two waters the sweet and the brackish don't mingle immediately where they meet but for the miles they remain separated from each other despite of the fact there is no physical curtain between them this is yet another example of his omnipotence said that he is the only creator and he is the one who خلق, has created من الماء the water بشر, human being فجعله, and made for him نسبا, blood relationship وصحرا, and marriage relationship وكان, and is وبك, your lord قدير, all powerful and he is the one who has created the man from water then made made of him the kinship of blood and kinship of in-laws and your lord is all powerful and he's the one who has created the man from the water then made of him kinship of blood and kinship of in-laws translated above as the kinship of blood is that that relationship which emanates from the sihir translated either the parent and is there that kinship above as the kinship of in-laws which is drawn from the wife's side and called in-laws all these relations and bonds are allah's graces given to mankind for a pleasant and a tranquil life if these relations are taken away from the, someone's life it will be impossible for him to live by himself that's true وَيَعْبُدُونَ but they worship مَنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ besides Allah, besides Allah, besides Allah مَا لَا what not profits them يَنْفَأَهُمْ not profits them وَلَا يَذُرُّهُمْ harms them وَكَانَ and is الْكَافِرُ the disbeliever عَلَى against وَبِّهِ ذَحِيرًا His Lord, a helper. And the worship instead of Allah, what can neither give them any benefit or not, nor can cause them any harm. And a disbeliever is always a supporter of the shaitan against his Lord. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ And note, we send you illa except مُبَشِّرًا A barrier a barrier of glad tidings, one azira and a warner. And we did not send you but as a barrier of bearer of the good news and a warner. And as a warner. Qul ma as'alukum and say note I ask for you. Alayhi for it. Min ajrin. Any payments. Illa except man sha'a. That whoever wills. That whoever wills. أَيَتَّخِذَ to take إِلَى وَبِّهِ to his Lord سَبِيلَ away say I don't demand from you any fee except that whoever so wills should adopt a way to his Lord say Allah Taala advised the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to say that he has no personal interest in writing to accept and follow Allah's message in order to be profitable in this world and the hereafter. He does not seek any reward from them for his effort. His, his reward is, is only that they turn towards Allah. It is obvious that if the someone moves to the righteous path, it is he who will be gainer. As for the Holy Prophet وسلم, it was his love for the, prophet, for the Prophet that he was striving and has considered the gain of the people as his own. It is just like as an old father asks his children to eat and drink and be merry and declares to, to them that their eating and drinking is a reward for himself. It is also possible that he correct the attitude of the people is taken as a reward for the Holy Prophet وسلم, because he will also be rewarded if the people take up the right path. Some authentic traditions say that if someone asks people to take up the righteous path, 
and they oblige so then do not not only those who have acted righteously will be rewarded for the good act but also one who has persuaded them to follow the righteous path wa tawakkala and put your trust ala in al hayy alladhi the ever living the one who la yamutu doesn't die does not die wa sabbih and glorify bi hamdi with his praise wa kafa and sufficient is bi he he bi dhunubi regarding the sins ibadihi khabira of his slaves all of it and the place you trust is in the ever living who cannot die and proclaim his purity along with his praise and enough is he to be aware of his of the sins of the slaves alladhi the one who khalaqa samawati created the heavens wal arz and the earth wama and what hawar bainahuma is between them fi sittati ayyamin in six periods thumma then astawa he established himself ala al arshi over the throne our rahman the most gracious fas also ask bihi him khabira as he is all aware the one who created the heavens and the earth and whatever lies between them in six days in the just six days then he positioned himself on the throne the rahman so ask about him someone who who knows so ask about him someone in this words is it who knows described that the creation of the earth and the skies and then the place himself on the earth is consonant consonant to his exalted position are all acts of the allah ta'ala if someone wants its confirmation he should find out the from those who knows the truth he is allusion of the knowledge is towards it is it is also the allah ta'ala as by the islam post the uh, allah ta'ala or the jibril possible that the reference towards the scholars of the previous books so this is the allah ta'ala that he created he established himself to the arsh wa idha an wa idha qila lahum and when it is said to them who must you do prostrate li rahmani to the most gracious qalu they say wa ma and what ar rahman and what is the most gracious anas should do should we prostrate lima to what ta'muruna you ordered us you order us wazadahum nufura and in it increases them a version and when it is said to them prostrate to rahman the most gracious merciful they say what is rahman shall we prostrate to that which you dax us and it increase nothing them except the aversion rahman the word qaul is an arabic word translated as all the merciful and all the are new its meanings but they don't use it for the allah the allah has inquired who and what is the rahman tabarak alladhi blessed is he who ta'ala has placed fi samai in the skies burujan constellations wa ja'ala and has placed fiha therein sirajan alam wa qamaran and a moon munira shining glish glorious glorious is the one who made the stellar formation in the sky and placed there in a lamp the sun and a bright moon and he is the one who made the day and the night following each other gracious is the one who has made the stellar formation in the sky placed there in the lamp sun and a bright moon and he is the one who had made a day and a night following each other for the for one who wishes to be to be mindful or the wishes to show the gratitude in these two verses it is explained to allah taala has created the sun the moon the stars which brings about a day and night on the earth alternatively so that those who give through thought or to things around them should see manifestations of his omnipotence and proofs of his oneness 
and the thanksgivers should have a kayam for thanksgiving. Therefore, whoever does not pay heed to the manifestation to his creation, creation and does not offer him his gratitude live, lives a useless life. And he has loads his capital as Allahumma jana min al-thakirin wa shakirin May Allah keep us from the shakirin and the thakirin. Ibn Arabi says that he has earned from the great mitre that, that the one who has attained the age of 60 years and has spent half of his life the 30 years in sleeping and one sixth time of the 10 years is taking rest during the daytime is a great loss. So he has spent only 20 years of his life in the working. After pointing out the, about the stars, the planets and the astro Nomical features, the Quran has made it clear that the repeated reference to, of these things in the Quran is for the purpose of the people contemplate over their creation, movements and resulting the phenomenon, phenomenon in order to have the visualize and understand the one who created and controlled them and then pay the home page and thanks to Allah Ta'ala. Cosmological uh, theories and the Quran as regards the question as to what is the reality of the stellar formation and the whatever the star are fixed in the sky or um, are the floating in the space or the basic human needs independent on answering these questions. Neither in this world nor in this thereafter in the thereafter. Moreover, there are the many issues of this type which could not be resolved finally despite all the painstaking efforts undertaken by the many researchers Therefore, it is not a necessary service to the Quran to indulge in such a controversies beyond the aforesaid purpose of the Holy Quran. So whatever is it make the skies, the earth and everything in it, to add a level is a place, the lamp like the moon, the sun, so everything is in the perfect manner. Mashallah. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen for everything. So if you have any question, any query regarding to the, this transition or the today's lecture, about the today's translation, you just can text me on uh, my WhatsApp number. You can just text me. You can just message me, whatever you want. So that's it for today, inshallah. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.